had their property misclassified as a wetland and were prevented from building their family home. At a hearing on government regulations, Republican Lauren Boebert did not like the testimony from law professor Sally Katzen. So Boebert attacked the witness personally. And were prevented from building their family home. It may not be a $2.5 million home like yours, uh, but that sounds like a lot of red tape Excuse to me. Excuse me, do, do you I, I really take that as a personal assumption. Do, do you assumption. disagree? My home. Do you disagree that this was an overreach? I, I disagree that Ms. you're Katzen, casting my time has expired. on Chairman, me I or my... Thank you. Maryland Democrat Jamie Raskin then jumped in. M Mr. Chairman, um, could, could we just ask all of our good members to uh, respect uh, the civility and decorum and the uh, integrity of the witnesses who've come forward at their own expense to testify uh, before us today. And, and an insult is not a substitute for an argument. Uh, yield back to the you. The chair would advise the members to adhere to the House standard of decorum and proceed in order. As Lauren Boebert walked out of the hearing room, Texas Democrat Jasmine Crockett softly and calmly shredded her. This committee runs my pressure up. Uh, and 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 I I do come prepared to committee, and then there's always somebody from this side that does something ridiculous that that throws me all the way off. So, uh, oh Jesus. Okay, so this is where we gonna start, Miss Caskin. Um, first of all, let me apologize because that was uncalled for. So let me do what she would never do, uh, which is to be an adult in this room or in this chamber. So let me start there. I'm also going to start with some nonsense that she was trying to spew. And unlike Ms. Bobert, I am legally trained and I've passed a few bar exams. Uh, and I also legislated before I got here. So I do want to start with um, correcting the record a little bit. And Congresswoman Crockett and the witnesses then proceeded to clean up some of the nonsense that Bobert had been spewing about environmental laws and residential development. Bobert, though, was already on to other things, other impolite, unsophisticated, and uninformed things that mark her career in Congress literally every day. There is something to be said for aggressive and at times passionate adversarial debate. We need strong emotions and advocacy in Congress. But all too often, as Lauren Boebert demonstrated on this day, when right-wing lunatics are losing an argument or being confronted with actual facts, the conservatives resort to personal smears. They slam a witness's sexual orientation or background or individual finances. I suppose we shouldn't be surprised, however, that Lauren Boebert engages in this crap. After all, she dropped out of high school, married a guy charged with exposing himself at a bowling alley, had a kid as a teenager, and ran a bar and grill that received health code violations and ultimately went out of business. So there is probably a lot of jealousy and envy that Bobert has when a well-educated, articulate, and successful professor shows up in front of her. Still, is basic civility too much to ask for? Our political discourse keeps getting uglier and cheaper, fueled in large part by MAGA maniacs like Lauren Bobert. Kudos to Democrats Jamie Raskin and Jasmine Crockett for responding, but staying calm. By the way, Lauren Boebert's best friend of me in Congress, Marjorie Taylor Greene, just admitted because to embracing like ignorance. To Be happy to have our staff educate your staff on the I don't want my staff educated. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.